you find a Montessori classroom without a bang cane, then you should run. <laughs> it's, it's called collective exercises. And I'm pretty sure it's only in Missouri that people call it the bang cane. It was, all right. So, I played with the idea of playing out a whole bang game, but I, I don't know that we will have time. So I'm going to talk through it if you don't. That know. would be someone's house. Will you pretend that that is your mm -hmm. house? Okay, yep. so that is her spot, and that's her basket, and those are her numbers, right? So there's going to be two other people with just like that. With three people and a banker, and I get to be the banker. <coughs> Unless you're almost six, sometimes you get to be the banker. <laughs> 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 Alright, so I would come over and I would give her a set of numbers. So then, they would all get their numbers and I would call them over, okay? So it's Tammy's turn to come over, they come over one at a time. And then I would ask her what she needs. And she would tell me first what, how many units she needs. So, three. Three. Alright, so we would count them out. One unit, two, two units, three, three units. units. Okay? Alright, let's put that right there. Okay? How many tens do you need? Three tens. Okay. One ten, two tens, three tens. How about hundreds? How many hundreds? Four hundred. Okay. Let me give you one hundred, two hundreds, three hundreds, four hundreds. How many thousands would you have? Two thousand. Two thousand. Let's see, we have room. One thousand, two thousands. Okay. Now normally, I would send her back to her house, and she would go back to make her magic number. Don't go. And that's the, skip, the step I skipped with you guys over there. When we take out all the numbers on that rug over there, we teach them how to make a magic number, which is putting them on top like this and sliding it down so you have a number. Pretty exciting. So they would all get their beads, go back to their houses, make their number like this, keep it in their basket, and then they would all come back together, for addition anyway, and we put all the beads up here. So we'll just do it with yours for now. Oops, can we put all your beads up here? Put your little units in here. Do that they magic number again, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, but um, okay. yeah, so you, they stack them up at the edge. Woo! Cool. Pretty exciting. They like it a lot. I love that. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you have to make your magic <laughs> So anyway, so if you can imagine, three people have put all their beads up here, right? They put them all together. So then we would count them all together. We would figure out how many are here, and it would end up being some higher number. For imagination's sake. And we'd say, let's tell a little story about these numbers, right? So each tab we put up there, magic number. I'm doing your work for you, I'm sorry. It's okay. And I would say, okay. So Tammy came along and she brought 2,433. And then I would do the next person and the next person. And then all together, when we put that all together, this is where I would make my beautiful magic number. <laughs> We came up with 7,676. Wow, that's big. We put a lot of things together today, didn't we? You know what that's called? That's called addition. When you put a lot of numbers together, it's called addition. Okay, we did addition today. Pretty exciting? Really exciting. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense without doing it all the way through? Yeah? Any questions? Okay. I am not going to talk through all four operations because we would be here all night, but this same thing gets introduced with subtraction, multiplication, and addition. And, uh, Miss Heather, yeah. the adults love it too. What's that? When we did that in the bank oh, know, during right? the weekend, we were all so excited to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the main question that most people ask me is, well, how do they know that they need three units? And how do they know? And so, if you can see, yeah. By the time they get here, there's, you know, if I ask them, how many units do you need, nobody's going to be like, what's a unit? I right. know. Right. Because they already know. And it, that's a great feeling to be super successful like that. You really can't mess up. Attraction would, you know, starts with you have a bunch on here, and they come take away all of your beads, and you're so sad because they took away all your beads. And your number gets smaller. Um, 
multiplication is much like this, and it's but they all have the same number. So it's you don't have to see three numbers, you just take in this many times. And then division is much like subtraction where you start with a bunch, but it's a number you can share evenly. One for you, one for you, one for you. There's different language with each operation that carries on throughout the rest of these lessons that kind of puts that in their head, you know, putting together, taking away this many times, um, sharing equally, that kind of thing. So, is there anything? You know, we can even do long division with the paint game, which is pretty cool. We got to do that last year, it was a lot of fun. Anything else I can tell you about the bank game before we move on? Long division. Oh my goodness. Is <laughs> a quick example? Um, well, I think it kind of explained it. it we just divide by, you know, a two-digit number. Mm -hmm. So I would have, if, if we do it divided by 13, I would have three people, well, we have uh, this little box of O's. And so I would have, I guess we divided by 12 last time. So two people would be units in a basket. And then somebody would represent tens. They would get 10 times more than the units. And then at some point in time, we asked nine other people from the classroom to come over with trays so that the tens can share out their tens so that we find that the answer is still in the units. Wow. It's a pretty production, big, big production, but it's also pretty cool for a two-year-old <laughs> to bring their tray over <laughs> and sit. Um, so sharing equals division. Fascinating. Exactly. So that's banking. <clears throat>